Josie's project. Ding. It's the end of an era. After Boyzone, NSYNC and Westlife, I never thought that the world would feel this kind of pain again. But it has. I spent the last few days going through the ordinary stages of grief. It's not really happening! What the hell am I going to do with all my calendars now, Malik? God damn! Please, I'll do anything. I don't think you understand. Anything you want. Any movie you release, I'll watch them all. In cinemas! But something occurred to me while I was in the throes of my depression. You see, there is truly a reason to mourn. This is the end of an era. But out of the ashes rises a phoenix. This beautiful idea. One duration. That's right. It's 2015. It's time for everybody's favourite boy band of all time. Of all time. Of all time. To head over to the east for a little Asian inspiration. <laughs> Want three reasons? Here we go. There are over three and a half billion boys in the world. Two billion of those boys are Asian boys. There are five members of One Direction. Mathematically, three of them should be Asian. I'm good with just one. I couldn't handle losing any more than Zane. It'll be damn easy to find an Asian Zane. Korea is literally a boy band making factory. There are entire cities of adolescents in skinny jeans who sing and dance and do variety shows for a living. We'd find a new Zane like that. Asians with British accents are freaking amazing. I'm just heading out for a spot of crumpets and some tea. And, and I'm just heading out for a spot of crumpets and some tea. Okay, not like that. <laughs> But imagine seeing next to Louis and Harry and Niall and Liam a little Chinese hipster with a cute British accent. Oh, I can't even. I can't even. In high school, one of my favourite teachers was my maths teacher who was Asian and British and awesome until he told me that I was only going to get a 37 for methods. I showed you, Mr. Wong. You don't even know. Anyway, that's why I'm not too upset anymore. I can't guarantee that I'm not going to wake up with a tear-soaked pillow for the next few days. But with this glimmer of hope, there is tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a new day and we can begin to recover. And fall into... <laughs>